Septum KBA, one tick traveler here. Now in front of me, we've got something very different from your usual toiletry bag. And yes, this is actually a toiletry bag. It is the travel packer from side by side. This is quite interesting because it definitely approaches toiletry bags in a different way. You might just get a small case, ram everything in, try and pack everything tight without much organization. But if you're traveling more frequently or tend to bring quite a lot of things, then you might be looking for something a little bit more accommodating without trying to bulk up your bag. I've actually had this for a while. I just never got around to reviewing it since I've been pretty busy, but I've done a lot of travels with it and the kind of people it's more suited to and some of the flexible options that you can make use of this. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the design. Uh, in terms of dimensions, this is pretty tall, but is relatively thin. Uh, this is roughly 30 centimeters high, 20 centimeters across, and then just four centimeters thin. So very different to other toiletry bags, which are more boxy in design or have a tapered look, but generally has quite a wide base. You definitely can't tell it's a toiletry bag. And I like that because it gives a bit more on its universal function if you wanna just carry and pack something differently in more of like a, a trail organizer, uh, which I'll touch on in a moment. It only comes in a black on the bottom lid. We have the side-by-side -side sort of a built-in a tag as a design printed on the front. It's made of polyester, but the exterior kind of has like a tarpaulin material. So it kind of grips to your fingers a little bit, some friction. Feels like it's water resistant, which is obviously great. So you can just leave it in your bathroom and any splashes, it's not going to wear the material over time. But also you can just take it with you. If you're taking it to the beach, the pool, the gym, like this is pretty heavy duty. We also have a front side pocket on the lid, which is very roomy, the whole exterior. Nothing on the side and nothing on the back. But one thing I will say, this handle, while you can uh, hold it like this and makes it easy to carry, you can also disconnect this strap, which we'll look at in a moment why you might want to do so. Let's go ahead and open it up. And voila. So this is the travel packer from side by side. There's a few things going on, but the main takeaway is you can actually hang this anywhere, wherever there's like a handle behind your door in your bathroom. If you're traveling just wherever there's a place that you can hang. And this gives you a full open access to the individual pockets, the dop cubes for you to access everything that you need. So pretty snazzy. If I put it on the table, you can see how it lies flat and give you a view here. We have one small dop cube that's included inside the travel packer and we have more of a, a large or a medium sized dop cube that fills in the rest. On the lid, we have two pockets, one with a mesh panel that you can see here. And that is pretty roomy, quite flat, but has some flex so you can put more bigger and bulkier items in there. And then on the top, this is kind of hidden away for things that you still want access to, but a little bit more out of sight. Now this handle, you can also just remove it if you don't want to hang it and just keep it on your vanity table. You can have it standing up or laying down. And that just slides into the hole here, which extends as deep as the first pocket. Now by design, you can flip it over. So if you have it standing, resting against your vanity table, the wall, the mirror, um, this can just give you the dop view. And I think it's very presentable and a nice way to keep all of those travel size bottles or just your larger hygiene skincare in one place. On the sides, you may notice we have extra sort of sleeves and this is a place where you can like put your toothbrush anything sort of slim lined um, against either side so you can keep it separate from everything else. You can have it standing, you can have it laying down, or you can have it hanging. Very flexible for how you want to present and just keep your toiletry bags. But that's not all. Um, one thing I like about the travel packer is 
Initially, you might think it's very large in terms of dimension, and it probably is if you think of just toiletry bags being more smaller, boxier. I kind of like this tall and slim approach because it means you can just line up against everything else and allows you to sort of stack and layer things, whether that's in your carry-on bag, even your travel backpack, or your check-in luggage. But if you're going on more shorter getaways that is only an overnight trip, then the good news is, you can rip the dup cube and we can also do the same. Oh, very rugged and durable um, with the medium dup cube. They're stuck on from the back. You have these very secure Velcros and I've had this for a long time and uh, this has not sort of worn away or lost any of the sticking tension where it sort of just may fall off. Uh, none of that. So I like how strong and adhesive those are and it is suited into that position so it's kind of defined how you want to lay these out and then if I show you the tray and um, you can see the velcro strips so it's not entirely aligned with it which means it's kind of preset and defined where you should be sticking these but you do have the flexibility if you're in a rush and just want to stick it in there like so the back pattern is pleasant it's kind of got a, like a honeycomb look with some lines in between with everything sort of removed this is what the tray looks like you have some rigidity and like structure to the side so it's not sort of going to really flail out or just droop over time you can see here it holds its shape also because of the way the corner sort of lines up a bit more curved and it keeps that tension if you also look in the front, it's got a little bit of a dip here, which makes it great, a bit more inviting and more of the dot cube sort of lifting up. So that's a, a nice detail there. But other than that, it's definitely flexible if you are sort of packing lighter or removing the dot cubes. Uh, the front itself sort of depresses in, so it kind of flat packs in a way, which is nice, um, but it will kind of restrict how much you can sort of overload it. So it's not going to be crazy big if you fill up all of these dot cubes so that's the exterior shell of the travel pack and now let's talk about the dot cube the dot cubes are nice uh, i like this the size is also very accommodating and having the two included does make the travel packer more valuable the small one is great for travel sized bottles for shampoo conditioner throw in little bits and pieces that i can keep separate from the larger compartment and just gives a little bit more order and separation between the two the line up here you can see the zipper is kind of reversed in so it gives a nice clean profile they all have their individual loops so you can hang them separately if you're just using them on their own and the back is lined same with the pattern opens out fully so you have full access to it it's pretty universal but very durable and again waterproof uh, one thing i would have liked is more of a joey stretchy pouch uh, lined up against the back wall so you can kind of press things a bit more firmly to it and then have the rest of the space for the larger bulkier items so that is a small now let's look at the medium cube my comments on the back pocket we do actually have it on the medium which is nice it's basically two pockets and they are meshed much larger for those bigger bottles maybe 150 millimeter like your skincare your gels uh, creams you can also just put your shaver in here so there's a lot of flexibility how you might want to use them either together we have that same handle on the back and that much larger adhesive to the velcro that gives it a firm touch a nice detail as well underneath here you do have a little id card so you can add your details if you are just carrying these separately in your bag or your carry-on because it's slim it's not the best at accommodating bigger bottles then you're going to find there's a bit of stretch or press or even if you just have that bottle lined in then it's going to sort of lift that up side by side include different colors for the zipper which is a nice touch so you have this more creamy version on the small dot cube i have more of a, a blue color the overall proposition and the the travel packer is actually really smart something different that i haven't seen elsewhere and i think it's going to really solve a lot of those problems for those that need more thoughtful toiletry packing and organization if you're going on longer trips so that's the travel packer i find myself using the smaller dot cube more whenever i'm on just a, a few day trip away it's just more than enough for what i generally need a few bottles i can even throw my toothpaste my shaver in there and my toothbrush 
and that's kind of it. For longer journeys, then I could bring both the small and the medium together. And just to give you an idea, this is more of a travel backpack. And from the front, it kind of has a, a small area. I can actually just slide that tray in if I put it here and then close it. That is my toiletry bag all in one place, easy to take out. So maybe for security as well, it's a pretty good way to just open up, make it viewable, even in a conventional backpack. So I've got my ISM more of a contemporary style and you can see here, it's kind of lined up with my Bellroy document holder. Again, because it's all more document styled, then that's easy to slide in. So if I wanted to, I can just put that in this backpack occupies nicely inside the main area, zip it neatly contained while still being able to wear my everyday bag for more of the aesthetics functions and not any of the bigger bags. In terms of weight, it's fairly decent considering the dimensions and the additional dot cubes in here. It weighs just over half a kilogram, so 544 grams, which I think is very impressive for actually what you get in this. You don't necessarily have to bring the entire travel packer with you. And since it is made for traveling, you could even just put like your passport in here. That being said, it might not be for everyone. Um, I think those who are traveling regularly, maybe if you're an air hostess or uh, generally as a carry-on person, if you are rocking a carry-on luggage, one that you can wheel around, uh, this makes for a very smart solution that you can just place alongside all of your clothes and really not worry about things leaking because it's contained within not only the dock cube, but within the travel packer as well. So I think this is really smart. Mention for travel backpack, if you are kind of going backpack only, then this is probably going to eat into your space more than what you would do with just one of the dock cubes. So whether that's a different organizer or just the small and the medium, that might be your preference and you can just leave this tray at home. While it's very versatile and accommodating, it really depends on your style of travel or the kind of bags that you have. I think in most scenarios, the travel packer will definitely work. And for instances where it's a bit bigger than what you might need, then the included small dot cube and the medium sized ones are better for you. Over the years that I've used it, I've definitely tried putting in my carry-on and I like that it sort of stacks in layers with everything else I have flat. For when I'm going more backpack only, then I'm really taking any of these dot cubes and more than do the job for keeping everything together. When I'm at home, I actually quite like hanging this uh, behind my door in the bathroom. It just makes everything viewable and presentable. But again, the overall size is fairly big and if you find that this is just too much for what you generally use on a day-to-day -day basis, then you might wanna look at much smaller alternatives. And there's really not that much wrong that I can say about the travel packer. I guess it kind of depends on your preferences for the aesthetics. This is roughly $80 USD. So definitely something more of an investment rather than something you can just quickly buy. But at the same time, this is very different and unique from what else you would find elsewhere. I'm generally just bringing the dock cubes and leaving the travel pack at home. So I wouldn't say it necessarily appeals to my kind of travel since I'm more minimal. So I kind of have to be a bit more smarter with the space inside my bag or my carry-on luggage. That being said, if I do have space to spare or if you are just going in your car journey, there's not much like wrong with it. I think it just depends on your style of travel and whether this fits in your flow. Great for professionals who are on the road regularly flying, whether you're an air hostess, a pilot, even if you are just a frequent flyer, maybe for business. And also for many travelers who are looking for more of a smarter toiletry solution. So thanks a lot, Team KBA. Let me know your thoughts down below of the side-by-side -side travel packer. If you have one yourself, sound off your experience in the comments to let other Team KBA members know. And if you are interested in picking this up and it's right for you, I'll put the link down below. You can also see my written review for more on my website at onetechtraveler.com. Thanks a lot, Team KBA. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.